it just does add this kind of layer of tension to the season. There's expectations already coming off a 13 win year. And then you add this other storyline and both guys know about the contracts and everything else. And it just kind of ramps up the pressure on both of them. Sunday, the Vikings lost 20 to 20 to 17 to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a disappointing season opening loss for the Vikings and Vikings fans alike. There was something, there was couple moments that were clearly visible frustration from Kirk Cousins and Justin Jefferson, and it felt like they were more frustrated than we've seen them in the past. So I kind of want to ask you how they're not getting deals done before this season started, new deals or an extension or whatnot, whatever you want to call it how that might impact this season going forward. First, I want to point out that one of us got a haircut before week one and one of us did not. So, uh, you know, I, I think you got to step up your game a little bit here as we go into the season. But no, I'm just kidding. I, I think that it won't affect it at all uh, because these are two guys who have acted totally professionally throughout this entire process. And if you look at all of Justin Jefferson's comments, whether it's coming into mini camp or whether it was at the beginning of training camp or even his most recent press conference or even the way he handled the question after the game he has just repeatedly said that he's focusing on football and everything points in that direction and by the way Justin Jefferson had an amazing game yesterday I mean they, the offense in total didn't put up as many points as they should have because of turnovers and because of Tampa Bay in the second half largely controlling the game but he still ended up finishing with if you had him on fantasy you'd be very excited about that I mean he was as usual the centerpiece of the offense making plays. And with Kirk Cousins, I thought the same thing, that he was very much Kirk Cousins, that you know the defensive line got after him a few times and caused some havoc. He also made some spectacular throws. And I think there's just one throw in that game that he really wants back, and they probably win the game if uh, you know KJ Osborne is able to bring that ball in at the goal line. So that seems to me a, a little bit of kind of going by the result too much and, and then looking back at the moments of frustration. But but I think that there's been plenty of moments on every NFL field where you're going to see an upset quarterback an upset wide receiver. If things aren't going their way. I mean, even a couple of years ago in San Francisco, when the 2021 season was kind of coming apart, we saw some Jefferson, you know, throwing his arms up and things like that. And we've seen cousins on the sideline with Adam Thielen, you know, throwing his arms up as well. I mean, I think it's just part of the game that you're going to be frustrated, especially, I mean, there's really no excuse for throwing an interception at the goal line like that. It's a game swinging play. Everybody knew it, but I don't think with these two, it is going to have really any impact at all. The only thing is that it just does add this kind of layer of tension to the season. There's expectations already coming off a 13 win year. And then you add this other storyline and both guys know about the contracts and everything else. And it just kind of ramps up the pressure on both of them, but they've dealt with this for a very long time. There's always expectations for a starting quarterback who's highly paid and who is of Kirk cousins age. He doesn't want to waste the season in his mid thirties. Uh, and with Justin Jefferson, he knows that the whole world is looking at him each week and expecting certain production and expecting him to be a winning player. So yeah, I don't think that this really should change anything about the way everybody acts. The only thing it could change is if things go really bad and you know, maybe with Kirk cousins, there's some trade conversation, but you know, this team is always, especially under Kevin O'Connell, but really under Kirk cousins found ways to bounce back and stay in the race, even when they have some bad losses. So that would be still my expectation right now until that changes. Hashtag no haircut team. That's been another purple insider extra for bring me the sports. Be sure to rate review and subscribe to the purple insider podcast, wherever you get your podcast. Talk to you next time.